Hobbycoops TV. Hi guys, Hello. I have Hobby Tiger here, and this is Hobby Sis, and we are playing with Kitchen Science. We have six specially designed Kitchen Science experiments. I don't know why it says in the kitchen, but we're gonna do it here at our table, and we have the lemon, and then we're gonna see what else we need as we open the box. I wanna do the rocket, the rock candy factory, and the lip balm. This toy is for ages, eight and over. It also has invisible ink. It has fingerprints. Ooh, this is Rock Candy Science, the Vinegar Rocket. There's a tabletop volcano and the fruit battery. This is super exciting. <laughs> that volcano is little. They do give you the volcano. It's kind of tiny, but that's, that's okay. And then the rocket. It's little. And Everything is little. There's cool. a rocket vinegar thingy. Maybe you go like that and it goes like psh. So we're gonna do our lemon one. It's a fruit battery. Probably because fruit was like really good for you. I don't know what a zinc plate is. Oh, it plate. comes in there. Yeah. So do you see it? Oh, it's those metal things. Yeah. Cool. So we just need two forks, a lemon half, or other fruit. So you could use an apple or a tomato. Whoa. But we're going to use a lemon because that's what they said. So I have the lemon. It's nice and juicy. It's dripping all Ooh. over. And I got two forks. We have the two zinc plates. First, next the red wire on the LCD watch to a fork. So it shows you can even use adhesive tape. We have a nice illustration that shows how you put the fork on the two different batteries. And then we also have this white wire that goes from one fork to the other zinc plate. Is it touching the middle to the metal? Mm -hmm. We have to get them kind of close together. Then And then the tape on the black, look, it goes to the zinc plate. So the white goes to the zinc plate. Will it work? It's, it's starting for a little bit. It's, it's starting. It started. Yes. You made electricity with a lemon. So what time is it? our timer, which is our clock. Mm -hmm. Is that the real time? It's a battery. It's just like a regular watch oh, battery. It made it. So it's been working now for about a minute, and it's still working good. I don't know how long that the lemon would last, but we could kind of wait and see, like leave it to off to the side. The fork acts like the positive electrodes of the battery. The electrons move from the zinc plates to the forks, and the lemon juice helps to conduct electricity. How cool. I didn't know that. I'm going to die. Now our watch has been working for three minutes on our same lemon. Three. Three. Ha, ha, ha. We're going to check out the fingerprint detective kit. We're going to remove the plastic cover, it says. Will she do it? Yes, she, did she it. will. So there we go. Touch your nose or hair first, like this. First, you make a print on the dusting pad. Hmm. Is that your stomach? Oh, wow. Dip the brush in the cornstarch and tap gently to remove excess. So you just kind of don't need a lot, just a little. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. So then you gently, I guess, kind of put this on here like, like that. Just kind of gently put it on the fingerprint. Put it like this and smooth it to get the fingerprint off. Then you lift it off and then you take your fingerprint and you put it over here on your fingerprint record sheet. Then you have actually used a little bit more cornstarch. The fun fact about fingerprints is no two people have the same fingerprints, not even identical twins. It helps us to grip things. Now let's do our rock candy factory. To make the crystals, we have to get hot water on our skewers and then we're gonna roll it in some sugar. So these we just got out of a pan with hot water. So now we'll just put them in here and gently roll them to create the crystals later on. It gives them like a base to start from. And we're gonna let these dry for six hours. So these have been working on it for about a week. Our little rock candies and this one, they, we did the same thing with both of these jars. We did the same process and this one didn't really grow any crystals at all. We did the same process. The sugar stuck to the stick good, but there's just not the same crystal action. This one did a lot better. You could kind of see it inside growing and when you pull it out, it looks like really cool rock candy like crystals. So I think it'll just continue to grow as long as we leave it in here. You can even see it kind of growing on the sides of the jar. Now let's move on to the vinegar rocket. So we're gonna put some baking soda inside that little hole in the rocket, and then we're gonna put some vinegar in here. It says to put it up to the two milliliter line, which is not very much. So we have our vinegar filled up to the two milliliter line, and we have our rocket full mm -hmm. of some baking soda. Hobby Tiger is going to put the rocket 
into here and you're supposed to just, it doesn't quite fit easily, so we're gonna have to kind of cram it in there, it's foamy. And then shake it three times and put it down and quickly Gently. walk away. Gently three times. Gently. Ready? Yep, here you go. Like that. Gently, go. One. You have to make it go up and down. Three. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try it again. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Woo! Whee! Now let's move on to the volcano. Get started by putting two teaspoons of baking soda into our volcano. One. So there's one. Uh. Oh yeah, that spoon's kind of big, huh? It's okay. That's like enough to fill it up. Two teaspoonfuls. That's one teaspoon. Well, that's weird. It seems like the directions are a little bit wrong. And our dish soap is a little bit blue. And we're gonna put some red food coloring in Ooh. too. There's one, two. Slowly pour a teaspoon of vinegar. Let's see what happens when we put our vinegar into our volcano. It said slowly, ah! I'm gonna pop the bubble, the big bubble. We're gonna try that again. Cool. It doesn't explode. It just says it's like lava that flows out. It's not that okay, red though. Pour more in. No, we didn't put enough corn in to make it really red. Cool. That one, like. It's because we put the soap in, so it makes it all foamy, huh? Pretty awesome. We can just keep on adding more vinegar. Yeah, I think we could. You want more? Yeah. Now you can start to see more of the red food coloring coming out. Whoa. Whoa. I think it's just kind of the same, but it's still. Yeah, but it still do a little more. Cool. Whoa, I just saw a lot. That one did really good, and it had a lot of the Red. food coloring. Cool. Whoa. Awesome. Woo! That's cool. I wonder why it just keeps going. That's cool, huh? Whoa, there comes a whole bunch. Look, it even moved it. A whole bunch of the uh, food coloring, too, again. If you had fun watching this kitchen science experiment video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Hobby Kids TV where we have thousands of awesome kid videos.